To our other top story this afternoon, we're starting to get a clearer picture of how a woman was abducted from the Walden Galleria parking lot last month. It's a story News 4's Patrick Ryan broke last month. He now has the latest from police. It's been a little more than three weeks since a woman was abducted from the Walden Galleria parking lot and there's still been no arrests, but police tell us that a vehicle believed to have been involved is in custody. And that's just one of the new details we've learned since first bringing you this story. Cheektowaga police are revealing more information about the evening a woman was abducted from outside the Galleria. Police say she was leaving J.C. Penny from the lower level exit and walking to her vehicle when she was approached by at least two people. We're told she was forced into her vehicle at gunpoint. A police spokesperson says it's believed she was being forced to drive to an ATM for a bank withdrawal. That plan quickly changed as she drove across the street to Jim's truck stop. Police say the two perpetrators got away in a separate vehicle, but not before stealing the woman's phone and other belongings. We spoke with Vista Security Vice President Jeff Ronaldo, who's not involved in this investigation, but says businesses need to think outside of the box when it comes to security. If you happen to be a business located in place A, but you know that most of your customers park in place B, have a conversation with the owner of that, that parking lot or that area and find out what kind of surveillance do they have available. If something happens, who would you contact to get a copy of that video? So really kind of thinking outside of the box of more than just, I'm worried about what happens behind my front door. Cheektowaga police say they were able to identify the getaway vehicle within 24 hours of the abduction. Cheektowaga police declined to go on camera to discuss this story with us today, but they do want the public to know that the mall is not an unsafe place and they continue to have a good working relationship. Reporting in Cheektowaga, Patrick Ryan, News 4.